Alright, in this second tutorial on how to create the stationing line, we will add the stations and also we will add the geometry information about where we change from a tangent and going into a curve and, a, and again the point where we change from the curve and going to a tangent. But in this case we will start by adding the stations and to do this I will add a small line just to indicate the point of where we had the station. So I will just select a line and I want to draw a line with a length of let's say should be 3 meters and I will just start somewhere out here and I want the line to be perpendicular to the center line so I will select the perpendicular snap and then select the center line and next I want to move the line so I will just select the line and right click select move and I want to snap to the midpoint and then place it at the starting point of the center line next I will add the number for the station and in this case I want to set up the drawing in the scale of 1 to 1000 so in this case I need to go to settings and I will select drawing scale and in this case it has been marked that it should be annotated so make sure that it's showing in orange and then you should be able to change the scale to 1 to 1000 and now I can select the text and in this case I want the text to be annotated so make sure that it's marked that it's orange you can just click on it to activate the annotated and the text height and width should be 2.5 millimeters on the printed drawing so you need to type in 0 0.0025 for the height and width and then you are able to type in a number or the station and I'll just start by adding the number 20 and I can close the window and then afterwards I want to rotate the station so I'll just select the station and if you then right click let's see if I need to select it right click and you can select rotate and I'm rotating with the method of two points so I'll start by a starting point and then I'm able to rotate according to the starting point now I'll just click left click to place the station and then right click to get out of the command and next I just need to move the station near the um, starting point of the center line so I'll just right click select move and specify a starting point and then I can place the station and in this case I typed in the number of 20 just to indicate that I'm actually rotating the number in the right direction but in this case it should actually be the station of zero because this is the starting point of our center line so I just need to double click on the text and then I should be able to type in the station of zero and then click on the screen to place the text next I want to add stations for every 20 meters along the horizontal alignment so I will select the small line to indicate the point and also I will select the text and in this case if I go to the third icon I can select array and the method I want to use in this case is along the path and I want to type in or the mode should be a distance and I want to show the stationings for every 20 meters so the distance should be 20 and also I want to rotate the symbol or the, the small line and also the text so make sure that your market should rotate the item and now I need to select the path and afterwards I need to identify the starting point which I can see from the bottom left corner which is the point right here 
and if I then select the endpoint and then right click to get out of the command in this case we can see that it has copied all of the stationings but now we need to modify the station so the next one will be 20, 40, 60 and so on and to do this we can select this edit text and if I then click on the text it comes up with a window where I can change the text and just continue along the horizontal alignment In this case we can see that the horizontal alignment is actually a bit longer compared to the last stations that we have. So in this case I will select the station point and also the text then right click and select copy and I want to snap to the point where the horizontal alignment intersect with this stationing line so I will select intersect snap and then I will place a new point at the end of the horizontal alignment. In this case I need to figure out what is the station at the end point and I can select the line and then right click select element information and in this case I can see that the total length of the horizontal alignment is 162.29 so then I can just modify the text and now I have the station and in this case I might want to move it a bit so it doesn't overlap with the text of the station 160 so just select the text right click and select move and I can just move it a bit like this The next step is for us to add the points of where we change from a tangent and then going into an arc and again the point where we change from the arc and into a tangent. And in this case I'll just draw a line which is perpendicular to the tangent. So I'll select a line and I want to have an overall length, let's say it should be 30 meters and I want it to be perpendicular to the tangent so again I will select the snap function right click now I can select the line and I will move it and you can see in this case it's kind of highlighting where we have the point where it changed from a tangent into an arc place it here and I will do the same on this side have a starting point again it's 30 meters and I want to make it perpendicular to the tangent select the line right click and move and in this case it will be placed at the intersect between the arc and the tangent Next I will add the information about that this section, section right here is a, a tangent so we will give it the radius of infinity and we have the radius which is the radius of 100 meters so we'll select the text that I have right here make a copy and I will place it out here and another one at this point and we have the first part which has the radius of infinity and to add the symbol of infinity we need to go to the start menu and if you type in char map and from the list you should be able to find the symbol of infinity 
so I have it right here, so I will select it, mark it and then highlight this symbol, Control c for copy, and then go back to the text editor and select Control v and then I can place the text The radius that I have right here is the radius of 100 meters. So we just type in the radius of 100. And also I need to type in what is the station where we change from a tangent and then to an arc. And in this case I know this is the station of 40. So if I measure the distance from this point and to Let's see, right here, you can see this is a distance of 5.47 or 46, sorry. So in this case I will just select the text to make a copy. Place it here and this will be the station of 45.47. Oh, 46. Place it here, and I see I need to move it again. So to move it here, and again I need to do the same at this point right here. But this is the principle of how you create a stationing line. So you have the center line, and then you add the stations, and also some information about the geometry.